Oh shit, yo, what's up ghouls and ghoulets, man, ladies and gentlemen, we back here again, yo. Today we're gonna be, um, we'll be playing some games, but I wanna talk about Yurik's, uh, matchups from the worst to the most easiest, uh, champions you could actually face in topside. Um, we have this tier list, I don't wanna set up anything, like, S to, like, D tier, I think everybody should know, you know, the level of, uh, champions from just, uh, the grain of the letters as well too i don't need to put like hard medium easy mode and or any of that shit. so let's get into this first champion i want to talk about is or the first few champions is like his hardest matchups in my opinion right so everything here is just basically based on my own opinion as a player and uh, my experience of uh playing against these champions so first champion is definitely irelia i honestly don't think i have to explain the champion whatsoever to any of you guys i really don't think i have to do that shit but i really is a hardcore freaking uh counter towards uh yurik a really decent high elo i really player against yurik can actually shit on yurik if you're not playing the game right right so i think i really deserves to actually take a place in the s tier right in my opinion the second champion that i want to talk about is uh i said oh my goodness, yo, Callista, from every Callista that I've faced, like, <laughs> they're all annoying to actually uh, play against because the Kaiden potential from this champion is is honestly just stupid. I honestly hate this champion in top lane. I would have to go, like, Ghost, Approach Velocity, like, every and anything that can get the A tier. Um, who else deserves the tier? Oh, Camille deserves one as well, too, like. If you don't respect Camille's early game damage, you're definitely going to get dumpstered on. So I definitely gonna say Camille deserves A tier. Um, Nar, definitely going to put here. I'm seeing a lot of Nar again played. I don't know if Ganar, Janar, Nar, whatever. Uh, you guys know who I'm talking about. The champion is just, uh, he, he's really stupid. What's I'm going to put? Oh, Fiora is pretty good for A tier. A good Fiora can actually shit on you. Um, what else, yeah. I think Fe oh Trinomir is pretty good as well too. If you're not careful against Trinomir, you're definitely gonna get dumpstered on. So I think Trinomir deserves to have a S uh, ATR right now. Um, trying to think of like who else deserves an ATR on this list, yeah. But these are like champions as well too that can if they get a good run on a Yorick or like maybe first blood against Yorick or even a jungler especially or maybe even the mid laner from a rotating for a scuttle fight or. A blue or red buff fight or whatever the case may be uh they can shit on you so yeah these champions are really good against york um kled i think kled like he's not that much of a hard matchup but the thing about kled the reason why i'm putting him in the a tier list is because if kled has let's say his jungler is a, a volley bear which is <laughs> An ohm wrecker, like you already know what Volibear does, man. He ults, he stops the tower from attacking. You're kind of like fucking dead. Like you're you're pretty much dead, honestly. So Zach, Volley with Kled is probably the worst shit you could ever see in topside. Like it's definitely a nightmare to go up against. I've faced that shit too many times to know that it's actually like you just can't play League of Legends. So Kled, I would definitely put an A tier. Also, his E kills all your ghouls, so it kind of sucks. And Riot hasn't fixed that. I believe it's a bug, but you know it's a bug that they're keeping so far because obviously for years now they haven't done shit about it so you're yeah, gonna keep him in the atr list for sure for sure yo florida man what's up bro how you doing bro welcome back welcome back we're just doing a tier list we're doing we're gonna do a lot of tier lists uh one is gonna start off with um uh champion from uh the hardest to like the weakest um Orn, I feel like Orn deserves to be in the A tier. Like, he's actually a really good matchup against Yurik, especially in the early stages of the game. Um, but, I mean, like, you could beat him. It's just he could also destroy you as well, too, if he gets to go around on you. Uh, I'm, I'm iffy about it, but I'm going to just, like, hold him down on the A tier for now. Uh, Aatrox, I think... Mm. I'm gonna put him for A tier, honestly. I know Yurik actually does a really good job against Aatrox, but you fooling around in top lane, you know, having that little lead, 
and getting too freaking excited to the point where Aatrox actually catch up to you, he can actually do a really good job against uh, Yorick, in my opinion. So I'm going to put Aatrox in the A tier. Uh, and again, guys, this is just my opinion. On matchups, Darius also deserves to be in the A tier, but I'm going to put him for B tier. Uh, only because, like, I know for sure Yorick could actually shit on him. Uh, but again, if you're not decent against the Darius, then he's definitely, like, S tier. <laughs> he's going to be S tier in that game. He's going to shit on you 100%, and you're not going to be able to play League of Legends anymore. Unless you get some really good uh, ganks or some really good plays happening on the map. Uh, Mordecai's I'll put for B. He's not really that much of an A, in my opinion. Akali, I would put for B tier. Like, for low elo, I feel like she can definitely be, like, uh, probably even S tier towards a Yurk player. But she's definitely a B tier. My reason for saying that is because, like, if you're going to second wind or even conditioning with uh, Dorn Shield... Start your E off, of course. You don't really want to start off with your Q because you're just going to be getting poked for free from the Akali. Allow her to push in. When you turn 6, like you should be fine. Uh, build the right items, like maybe a hole breaker. That's if it doesn't get nerfed in the future, but hole breaker for sure right now from me making this video. Um, I think you should be able to like sustain yourself against an Akali any freaking day of the year. And you can go into Divine, which I prefer uh force of nature which is super good against her uh definitely heal reduction if she goes into like uh any healing uh healing items such as uh rift maker i believe that's the name of it um well, yeah apart from that could be a problem oh actually for s tier i could definitely put uh gwen a good gwen would actually shit on you if you don't take it easy on her uh but if you turn six with the right plays, you should be able to like shit on the Gwen. Even in the early stages, like Gwen players will make a lot of mistakes pushing in early, right? And if your jungler has a brain, like it should be a pretty easy kill against the champion. But again, uh, wrong play against her, especially when she turns level six before you, or you guys are both level six and you misstep, uh, she can just pop off and kill you. So I definitely think she deserves to be in the A tier list. Um. That being said, Riven, I would have to put in the A tier as well. A good Riven can actually shit on you. A good Yorick can also shit on the Riven as well too. So I have to give it like a fair go on this one. I think Urgot deserves to also be in the S, sorry, the A tier list because I've seen a lot of like Yorick gameplays where the Yorick player would always, for some reason, walk up to the Urgot. I don't know why when they're farming. Uh, instead of like allowing this uh, champion to push into them, right? And then all I'm seeing is like Urgot press the attack, use E, flips Yurk over, and then almost like first blood or first blood, and that that's pretty much game, right? So like I'll put him in the A tiers because a lot of Yurk players still don't even know how to play against the champion, so they're gonna put him in the A tier. Um, Poppy I think is a great matchup against Yurk honestly because she uh, her W whenever you use your E or whenever I use my E. Um, her W just stops, literally just slaps, uh, uh, Will Smith snapped the shit out of your ghouls. Like, they don't get close to her whatsoever. So, um, I think Poppy is good there. And her Q damage, early game damage poke against Yorick is actually really decent before pre-6. Uh, she can definitely get a shit load of damage. I have uh, zero useful input here because all my matchups are low elo. <laughs> but I want to I want to also base this on low elos as well too, right? Not just for like, you know, master like high diamond master grandmaster, right? Because in flex I'm facing grandmaster and master, in solo queue I'm with uh high diamond masters, right? So I want to actually base this on low elo as well too, from you know iron to like whatever. Uh, just to be fair, because, you know, I could say, like, this person is easy, but in low elos is hard. So, I guess maybe I should put <laughs> Darius in A tier and, and uh, Rengar as well, too, and maybe Mordecai or Nicole. <laughs> you know, like, I, I might switch this up in a second. Um, just to be fair. Pantheon, I feel like, is an easy matchup. Honestly, like, Bone Platen, or if not Bone Platen, like, conditioning which i think is better because you actually gain uh free armor and magic resistance at level sorry at 12 minutes in i'm probably saying that wrong but i think it's around like 12 or 13 minutes or something like that in the game i don't think it's any later than that uh but yeah um 
you get you know uh what do you call it you can go cloth armor with four pots you can go dorn's shield with uh, a pot you know and just sustain yourself until like you know level six uh again hole breaker and you should be able to win this matchup no problem um until it gets nerfed <laughs> but um for sure hole breaker right now uh who else i'm trying to look at all the oh this guy is fucking cancer um but doesn't mean you can't win i always ghost it on this uh champion right uh, auction i always go ghost uh conditioning uh condition or bone plan is fine as well too with second wind any one of the three is fine um highly recommend dorn's dorn's uh shield uh cloth armor four pots also good if you want to go into time or time which i think is getting nerfed because cam cycle sent a list and i didn't really go through it fully but i saw that uh time or tonic is getting nerfed so i don't know what's going to happen there but anyways time or tonic with uh corrupted potion is pretty good against the champion as well too but i highly recommend going into like dorn shield uh cloth armor four pots uh with like second wind uh conditioning and if you want um bone plate um uh nasus definitely gonna put him b tier until he gets you know his stack he can probably be s tier <laughs> already nasus deserves to be in b tier versus uh york uh skarner i faced him once and it was actually like the best skarner top player and that was that was honestly like a, a a tier match honestly in my opinion but if you ever see skarner i'm gonna put him in b tier uh for top lane it's just uh, i faced the best skarner player <laughs> and i don't think anyone's gonna really face him in the low elos but uh if you're facing him he's probably gonna be s tier to you if not then most likely b or c tier just be careful when it comes down to being next to skarner's tower because you don't want to get ulted or don't try to push in too hard if you don't know what an enemy jungler is because he can just ult you and you're who else maka has not really played as much so i really don't have a yeah i really can't give you guys a good place on this but i'm gonna put him as i guess c for now i really don't know uh how good yurik is against maka right now because again i haven't faced him too many times to judge that shit uh renekton i'm gonna put for a tier I think most of the champions are going to be like A tier, honestly. I'm probably going to like move Darius as well too, because... Yeah. Um, Tom Kench. Oh, man. Like, I would like to put Tom Kench in B tier, but I'm going to put it for A, because... Again, your players don't really know how to face this guy. For me, I, I'm putting him for like B or C tier. But I'm going to put him for A tier, though. Um... Mundo, I'm gonna put for A tier because he can also shit on the York player if you're, you know, if the game goes to like mid to late game or if you don't play it right in the early stages and he gets a good first blood on you or an assist and he could farm up and gain a level above you, yeah, you might be in for a good treatment. Um, Silas, sorry, whoops. Syndra is actually annoying in mid side, but uh, we're not doing this for mid. Uh, Silas, though. Mm. I'll probably put for A tier because <laughs> if you're stepping up at level 1 against this guy you're most likely going to be left with like 20 or 30% HP or dead uh, you have to be really smart on how you're facing the champion uh, you know he still has damage regardless of him being nerfed from before he still got damage and shit against you Yurik is not the best at level 1 level two or level three for that matter like your i think york honestly as a champion is really good people would say level six i don't really think so i feel like york is really strong at level 11 and level 16 because that's when your maiden actually does damage bro he you know from the passive uh, that's when you actually get a shitload of damage from maiden so yeah pre-6 is whatever but level 11 where maiden actually gets a little bit of beefiness not getting one shot by top laners uh, it definitely makes a huge difference and getting that little damage as well too as i said before uh ilawi or ilawi whatever you guys call her um uh, i want to put her for b 
because she's not that hard to beat. Especially when you turn level 6, she should be really easy. But I'm going to put her for uh, A tier. Just to be fair. Because, again, you walk into Alawi's E or she gets you because you don't know how to sidestep or you don't know how to hide behind minions or your ghouls or your maiden, whatever the case may be. Or even your allies as well, too. <laughs> um, you're going to die. Like, you're not going to live. Um, so, definitely think Alawi is uh, A tier worthy. When it comes to, like, all elos, all right? I'm, I can't just base this on high elo players. And for high, you high elo players that knows what the hell you're doing, this is honestly not for you. When it comes to Alawi being A tier. Right, but um, I'm just trying to be fair for like all the other low elo players as well too. Right, so try to go with the flow. It could be a menace against you. Warwick top could be A tier for sure because uh, no one respects this guy as far as I know from what I've seen. And uh, he can keep spamming that like, stupid Q, getting a shitload of damage on you. And you really can't do anything about it. And if you try to go all in, more or less Warwick's in top lane, they would run Barrier. So try to bait you in if you're dumb, but um, you know, you just gotta be smart and uh, just wait for six, get your executioners calling, or I don't know, I guess Bromble if you like that shit, but I would highly recommend executioners calling, go into Triforce or Divine, whatever you like, uh, Ninja Tabby for sure, or I don't know, Merc Threads or something to help you out in the long run. Um, and i don't know like whatever other items you want like i highly recommend hole breaker against this guy as well too but again just builds for you do whatever you like doing i don't want to really tell people what to I, fuck man this guy is so easy to face <laughs> i'm really gonna hate myself a lot man i'm gonna put it for a tier like i hate ah oh, he doesn't deserve to be an a tier at all like at all bro but there's a lot of York players out there that have a lot of difficulties against the champion for some unknown freaking reason. So I'm going to just be fair and put him for A tier just to let them feel good like he's actually like a good matchup or something. But he's really simple to beat. Um, in my opinion. But again, I can't really just say everything about me. I want to speak for <laughs> the other ELO players as well too. So be careful. In the early stage, respect this guy at level 2. Uh, he can definitely shit on you. Level 3, you should be safe. Try to work it up for level three so when he tries to charge at you and be smart because a good garen player will try to bait you to use your w and then just shit on you all over uh so trap yourself if he's going for you trap yourself walk out of the cage right because there's times when you could trap him in and he can still cue you and end up jumping for some unknown reason jumping out of the cage and then he can just dumpster on you so trap him when he's uh when he's coming for you trap yourself you're guaranteed to trap him if not, then, you know, just walk away. Walk to your safety. Uh, if you have some ghouls, you can make some plays. If not, just wait for six and you should be able to kill this guy. Max your W out second. That's what I always do. I never really max my E out second against the Garen because he's so easy to beat when you max out your W. So, yeah. Up to you guys again. You could take my two twos or just get dumpstered on. It's up to you. Uh, my fight gonna put for i think malfa is honestly really good for what i've been facing in uh high diamond high masters especially in flex bro like they're really annoying but that's flex though it's a team game but i'm gonna put him for b honestly I, I like i feel like if you have the right runes the right builds i go divine versus this guy and i never have a problem beating them um so yeah that's really up to you guys Go to Vine versus this guy. You should be able to beat him. Same with Zack. Same with Skarner. Or Triforce against Skarner, I guess. But the Vine against like most of these matchups is an easy win. Hole breaking against most of these matches for first item, easy win. So again, up to you guys. Uh, as you can see, I don't want to just put champions in like A, B, C, you know, like without explaining why I'm doing it. But um, yeah, GP early game poke, pretty annoying. But you should be able to shit on them. Go Ghost. Go approach velocity, you know, like you should be fine shit on a GP player. Uh, go with maybe conditioning for the later armor or, you know, um, second win for the early game sustain against them with Thorn Shield or four pots and a cloth armor to rush into like a ninja tabby or something if you want. Uh, and you should be able to, again, dumpster on him. Hole Breaker is good first item against them or if you want, you could rush Triforce or Divine. I don't know. It's up to you guys. 
right but i normally always rush a uh, hole breaker against gp with uh, second window conditioning with dorn shield or four pots uh cloth armor and i pretty much always win so not really too much of a hard matchup um but again like try to hide and brush against this guy don't just stand in lane and just get poked for free without actually dishing out damage as well too so whenever you you know gotta get a minion go back into brush or something right when a minion is low walk out of brush and farm instead of just standing in one spot and just getting poked every like two seconds or three seconds or so all right be smart um scion i th i have to put him for b tier scion is not that hard for me and i think it should be hard for anyone honestly uh it's just annoying that's what i'll put him as just an annoying champion in general because he can just get hole breaker and try his best or just run it but in the long run though you're gonna end up getting a shitload of kills some of them are dumb enough to get into um what is it cinder uh the items that goes into sunderer uh sorry not sunderer um goes into frostfire or sunfire uh so the cinder actually does um aoe damage and whenever they go in the tower it actually automatically damages you and for most sign players I guess they're dumb enough to just keep doing that shit. Even in high elos, they're dumb enough to do it. Um, so I would just trap them in. They would try to ult out of my telly, <laughs> which is fucking jokes. Or they would flash out, which is just a waste of a flash because it's just an easy gank afterwards. And uh, yeah, it's just GG from there. So be smart on what you're doing with your W as well too, guys. Max the W against Sign, in my opinion. Easy life. Uh, go with some um, armor pen against this guy as well too because... Triforce is not really the best uh, item unless you're going into like Black Cleaver. Um, what do you call it? Uh, yeah, Black Cleaver and uh, whatever. Else. Like completely fine against this guy. Rush into Hole Breaker. Or if you want to go on the aggressive side, go into Triforce where you actually have some movement speed. Where you, you know, you're not really going to get kited that easily uh, in my opinion. I honestly highly recommend Triforce against this guy. 100%. Like, I hate being kited by people, especially people that have range. Triforce all day. So, Triforce this bitch. Quinn, I guess with her buff, she can be in the S tier. But same thing with every other range champion. Ghost, Approach Velocity, Thorn Shield, Claws Armor, you know, four pots. Like, easy life. I always face Quinn with Ghost. Always. Always an easy life. Uh, who else, man? Rumble, B tier. The only thing that's annoying about Rumble that maybe some people would put him in the S tier for is because the flamethrower shit and the fact that he can poke you out of lane if you're not safe. Especially with a gank at 3, in between like level 3 to level 5, going up to level 6 plus, he's an easy person to beat. You just gotta like time his ultimate as well too, right? And you should be fine. I always do that shit. So again, B tier. I don't think he's worth uh, A tier. In my opinion. Teemo, B tier. I don't think he's worth A tier at all. Uh, everybody should know what Teemo does. Uh, Singe. I'll put for honestly C or B tier. He's not a hard person to beat. Uh, more or less, he's just gonna be running around trying to get early farms behind your tower. So, and sometimes you could actually um, be smart, get him with your E when he tries to execute and get a first blood in topside. So, yeah, again, it really comes down to the player and how you want to play against this guy, but he's really easy. Um, Trundle can be a bitch to face. I'm going for A tier because I'm sure he can probably dumpster on most York players. But um, if you play it smart, though, even if you go to top lane with Ignite as well, too, or if you build Executioner's Calling for first i don't want to go into like uh bramble vest against trundle because uh you know that's only amplifying his ultimate his ultimate takes away i believe 40 percent of your armor and magic resistance and also a bit of your hp as well too you know thorn mills which goes you know bramble vest built into uh you don't want to build that shit against trundle don't give him any uh amps all right don't let him get tankier and healthier when he's fighting you you just want to be a regular troll that you can actually dumpster on. So, yeah, Executioner's Con against this guy. Uh, Triforce, Divine if you want. Uh, Black Cleaver, um, Grudge, which is really good against him. Because it actually keeps him in one's place. He can't kite you with his uh, Pillar or his W, which gives him movement speed. Um, yeah, 
go grudge against this guy go executioner's con, uh, con against this guy go triforce or divine against them you choose you build your keyboard your mouse do whatever the hell you want i'm just giving you advice uh who else man like volleyball not that much of a hard matchup honestly but I'm gonna put him for A tier because if he's if the player is dueling with a jungler, again, Volibear's ult is really cancerous and Tower's not gonna do shit against the Volibear because of his ultimate. So um I guess I could put him in A tier just because of you know who knows what his jungler is. Maybe it's uh Zac, which really sucks, or whoever else that does a lot of burst damage, uh, such as Kha'Zix or whoever that can just nuke you in a heartbeat before Tower, you know, comes back online. Uh, I think that's really it. Honestly, these other matchups are like whatever. Wukong, I guess. Early game, I'm gonna put for B. I don't think Wukong is eight tier worthy, especially not right now. Holebreaker first item against this champion with bone plate and whatever else, you're fine. Like you're not gonna die unless you do something really stupid. But yeah, Holebreaker first item, Ninja Tabby, or if you want going to Warden, also a really big item against Wukong. Uh, you shouldn't die at all, right? With Omen and whatever else. Like, you should be fine. So, I'm going to put for B tier. Just be careful in the early stage from level... I would say, honestly, from anywhere from level 1 to level 6. Because level 6, he can burst you down still. So, be smart. Holebreaker, Ninja Tabby, Bone Played in. Huge against this champion. Um... Gragas is a piece of shit. I'm gonna put him for A tier. This guy, his sustain is actually insane. And speaking of sustain, going to um, what is it? Executioner's Calling. Don't go into Bramble Vest against this guy. Go Executioner's Calling to your ghouls whenever they proc it. You know, whenever you proc it, life is great. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna put him for A tier though, because again, his damage overall is really insane. His tankiness, tank Gragas is absolutely insane uh he's really hard to kill even with grudge he's still hard to kill because he can just like dash away he can ult you away from him and just peace out and most of the time they'll actually take um phage rush in top side so it's really hard to kill this guy but early game though you might have a chance if your jungler have good cc like udier uh volley bear zach anyone with a hard cc honestly you should be fine um cho'gat yeah, I'm going to put for B tier. The only thing about Choga that's really annoying is his ultimate. But apart from that, he's simple. Execution is con as well, too. Going to Triforce, going to Grudge. I'm uh, sorry, um, Divine. With Grudge, of course. And you should be okay. Black Cleaver included. Again, guys, that's it. That's all. Hope you enjoyed. Again, if you guys are watching this, make sure to leave a follow. Make sure to leave a like as well, too. Comment down below. And uh, yeah, check me out on Twitch. We'll be streaming probably every wednesday thursday saturday and sunday uh monday i don't really stream as much so just letting you guys know all right but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the tier list any questions please leave it in the comment below but apart from that take it easy good luck with the clans good luck with life hope everything is great